Everybody being at Coy Clement, uh, I don't know. It's just, it's just a, it's just a team who is just due for a few bad weeks. But like I said, I put you above them because of how well they've done thus far, and thus far they've showed they've showed themselves. But I could see, yeah, you, you're probably about to drop. Probably, you probably. I know you won't like that as well. I'm probably gonna about to hear about it from you at some point. Um, but whatever. I can't say anything else about it. So going on to team number eight is easy as a B. Um, you are a team who probably deserves to be higher on the rankings than this you've scored a hundred points I think over the past three each of the past three weeks but you just find a way to lose like teams just put up points on you maybe somewhat the opposite of Brad like the teams don't score but the teams do score against you um, you are a team who I could see could jump who teams could who could really go forward um But your team's also a little bit weird, and you're waiting on Le'Veon Bell to come back um, to really give your team that, especially because yeah, that's especially why you could jump is because Le'Veon Bell's going to be coming back, and that could really give you just a mean-ass jump. Any, any one of us would love that. But your team's still good. Um... Same thing as them. I put you on the same level as. I put you slightly above. Like of course, I, as far as the rankings, I put you above Jim and Corey, but you guys are all about in the same level, and you guys could all jump. Could uh, jump pretty good. Um, then we go to next. We go to team number team number, eight. team number seven is yours truly the the commish. Um, if this again, as I said two weeks ago, I'll drink to myself. As I said two weeks ago, and it's still the same today, that if this season ended, um, I would still be in. I would still squeak in, but teams are catching up, and I made a risky trade this week. Like I had mentioned, when I gave myself the doghouse, um, I made a risky trade, and I might never ever see dividends within that trade as well, like, I might not ever see Fournette for the rest of the year. Um, I'm also a team who's as I drink and smoke my sorrows away. I'm going to end up um, dropping I could very well, and that's why I took the risk. If um, if this trade ends up working out, I could I could keep up and catapult myself to go into the playoffs or to stay in the playoffs. But chances are, percentages are that that's probably not going to happen, and I need some luck. But I'm probably going to end up dropping as well. Um, I could drop up to the very bottom three in the league. That could very well happen. Um, the league's, like I said, half over. And and we could all see it. I think everyone could, especially now. 
when you look at my lineup, it's not very good. It's my lineup is not very good right now. It's not very strong at all. But maybe I get lucky. Maybe I see some. But whatever. My team's probably gonna end up dropping. Um, I but I put myself here right now because my team has performed well. I got Braddened as I got Braddened this past weekend very badly. Very Bradley. Um and but that, that that's how it is, you know. Um it happens to the best of us. But that's just gonna have happened. I put myself there right now because my team would be in the playoffs right now. I am a playoff team as of today. But my, and everyone can see my team dropping. And I'll move on. Um from team Number seven, I go to pick to team six in the power rankings. I'm going with a dude who we are just neck and neck all year is Papa Don and the Hard R's. Um, that's another team who's coming on and looking pretty, looking pretty scary in the. You know, you love to hear this. I'll pop this one up for my boy. Um. Hey, it's Don. Um, his running backs, he, he's he got some very good running backs. His running game is great. His receivers are looking great. Um, he's a team who's looking better, who every week has looked better and a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better. He's climbed himself up from the hole he put himself in in the first few weeks. Um, yeah, just with his, yeah, and he hasn't even made that many, um, roster and made, like, free agent pickups. It's just a team that was, like, well drafted, and he's got his players, like, he's got some top players and who are out. His second round pick is out, um his number one receiver is on a bye but his team just doesn't get hurt and that's that is the um that's the makings of a good well drafted team is teams that just aren't hurt by the free agent wire or by the bye week it's just a team that's just great just great it's just a good team who's just looking better and better who I could see passing me who might pass me for a playoff spot. We're just well done all around. So then I'm going to, after that, then it goes to team number five. Um, I know strictly off of record, this team probably deserves to be in the top three, but and the most interesting team in the league, the most interesting team in the league is um auto the auto wins Brad's Brad has probably the weakest lineup in the league um almost almost like for sure like the weakest like I like hit on Howie's team and but you cannot hate on a team who's 5-1 and one. and let me tell you this boys the Braddon curse is real it's tangible it happens it will happen to you um and like I said, just the fact that he's five and one, he probably does deserve to be up there, like in the like further up there in the rankings. But you can't just I I, I couldn't I just like. I don't 
don't know. I think everybody gets it. I think everybody gets why he's number five. Um, I think there's more to it than what the record shows. Um, just like like the lead, like we talk, like he's five and one. He could very well is like they'd be five and one. Like the the luck has got to run out. The luck has got to run out. Um, well, I'm, I, I'm rooting for you. You know, you're my boy. I'm rooting for you, but um, that's just how it is, and I think everybody gets that. I think everybody gets what's going on with Brad's team. But, and I'm just being realistic with it, too. Um, you can't, it's not the NF, It's not the NFL scoring. It's not NFL strength, which if, you know, any 5 and one team would be up there in in the top, tops of them, but you guys get it. So when I go to Brad was five. Hold on a second. Okay, team number four is Ouch Town. Population U. Um. Everyone else in the league is on a completely like separate under like an under level than the top four. Um, there's four teams right now who just look just on a different level than everyone else. Like there's four teams who are just breaking away and they're just going to continue to edge and break away. From everyone else, um, and while like while these teams are, they're these teams are so good that they're on a different mindset than everyone else. They're on a championship mindset where they're not going to have to rely on luck and all this kind of bullshit we go through as managers. Um, they're, they're, yeah, they're on a level. Of, all the, all four of these teams are thinking championship. Us three think like everyone else is trying to protect their <clears throat> pride, like trying to just make, not make themselves look stupid. But these teams are actually looking to win it. And team number four overall, or no, yeah, number four overall is yeah is Bud. <clears throat> team looks good. Um, like I said, I. There's not, besides Saquon, there's not a single player on your lineup who I'm afraid of on paper. But a crazy stat is Adam Thielen has, Adam Thielen does not have, there has not been like over six games, which just blew my mind, over six games, Thielen has not had less than 100 yard receiving this year that's unbelievable as a receiver that's 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 insane every single game this year that Thielen's played in he's had over 100 yards receiving every single one and um he got T.Y. Hilton back you know he he does good things there was a year you know two years ago he led the league in receiving yards um This team has, and I could go on, I could go on about the analytics within, with this team. Like I said, like you look at it, it's not very scary at all, but the analytics with this team is through the roof. Like it's, it's pretty ridiculous. And that's why, and you could, I don't want to say you'll move up, but you aren't going anywhere along with the rest of the four teams. Like it's pretty ridiculous. Like like I said, like there's four teams like the four remaining teams are just stupid. Like they they have championship on their mind. But you're four, you can move you can move up. You could you could probably move down too.